Welcome to our week two lab. So uh, notice that uh, in uh, our labs, we have uh, different puzzles to solve, and some of them might seem a little bit more intimidating than others. So the first one uh, was pretty straightforward. We have uh, uh, basically uh, three lines to display. And so of course, uh, the answer simply means to add the print statement to each of the lines. Now, because we tend to uh, misspell things as human beings, let's go ahead and use copy and paste as much as you can. So notice here that you can do uh, print like this and then simply add the quotes and the parentheses. And that might be uh, setting you up for a really uh, successful time so that you don't have to uh, chase uh, uh, little uh, problems. And so we can run this until we see the execution. Uh, notice too that uh, I am using an online uh, compiler. Uh, if you want to install one on your computer, that's fine. You will probably uh, write in a black uh, command window. Uh, there are plenty of the online ones for Python. Um, I already posted a link uh, in our Slack channel to W3C schools that also offers an online compiler. And whichever one you use, uh, it, it will be uh, fine. So this was the first question on the lab. Let's do uh, another one. So this uh, second one uh, has uh, a little bit of uh, mathematics. Now, please know that this class is not about math. It's about programming. So if you at all are intimidated by mathematics, uh, just ask your questions in Slack. There's no bad question. Others are probably thinking about what you are asking about. And so we will always... Uh, uh, give you some hints. In this instance, it says compute expressions. Write a program that displays the result, and then we have this uh, expression. Now, one of the reasons why I said that this is not about math is because humans are not good at math. Computers are great at math. So uh, we can quickly uh, make the computer calculate this whole thing by simply putting this expression in parentheses and getting rid of any of the text. And so notice that with one click of a button, it calculates it for me. So this is not about understanding even uh, what comes first, uh, you know, that um, subtraction is going to take place after multiplication. Simply put a parenthesis around it and print it to the screen. So that's our first uh, lab question. Now let's do another one because this one is uh, really designed to uh, intimidate you. Uh, it's using expressions like U.S. Census Bureau. Well, let's see if we can simplify it. So, population projection. The U.S. Census Bureau projects population based on the following assumptions. One birth every seven seconds, one death every 13 seconds, one new immigrant every 45 seconds. Now, write a program to display the population for each of the next five years. Assume the current population to be and this is a big number, 312,032,487. Um, and then we assume that a year has 365 days because technically every four years we have a leap year and, uh, and then it's uh, 364 days. So let's see if we can simplify this. What this is asking is for five calculations. So there'll be five print statements. And these print statements are going to all start with the initial number that we have. This is how many people there are in the U.S. So then how do we add all the new ones that are born? Well, we have to first know how many seconds there are in the year. And that is calculated by saying 365 days has 24 hours per day, has 60 minutes per hour, has 60 seconds per minute. All right, so this is how many uh, seconds there are in a year. So now we're going to simply divide that by seven, and that gives us how many births there are. Again, you don't have to know that for this class. The idea is that in our week two labs, we simply are writing the print command, the print statement. So even though some of our labs are going to sound very complicated, their answers are going to be very straightforward and uh, don't get stuck on the problems themselves, right? Uh, we want to get to writing code as, as, uh, as soon as we can. And so now that I have the births added, we have to subtract the deaths, right? And so that's part of the problem. We're subtracting the deaths. And we're going to add, on top of that, all the immigration. So we'll add 
dividing by 45. And now we have the first year. How do we do second year? Well, we simply are going to add 2 in front of these values. And how do we do third year? We will replace 2s with 3s and have 5 of these statements. And that's the answer to this particular uh, problem. And so, as you can see, we can run it and it will calculate into individual uh, numbers. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, the next one uh, has to do with the quadratic equation. And uh, if you like math, you probably uh, remember what this is about. If math was uh, not uh, your favorite subject, then perhaps this uh, brings uh, a little bit of a, a thrill uh, on your back. So, how do we simplify that? Well, we'll go ahead and uh, look at this uh, quadratic equation without all the other text around it, all right? So we'll go ahead and look at it just with the formulas. And what does it mean? Well, notice ax squared plus bx plus c. In our expression, this is the a, this is the b, this is the c. All right? And so we'll go ahead and write it out. a equals 3, b equals 4, and c equals 5. Right, because C is lonely here at the end, B is in front of the X, and A is in front of the X squared. All right, so now this is what we are after. This is what goes in the print statement. So in the print statement, we're going to say B, which is 4, to the second power, or squared. Now you can write it like this, 4 uh, carat 2, or you can write it 4 times 4, because 4 squared is 4 times 4. And then we're going to say minus 4 times a and times c. And that is the entire problem solved. So as you can see, uh, this is not about the math. Um, okay, and uh, I wrote c, but really that was a value of 5. So this is not about the math itself. It's really about uh, solving the little puzzle and to coming up with the right answer. And so that's what Slack is for, for us to talk about what this puzzle is about and then just arriving at uh, the answer with ease. All right, so now the last question. This last question has to do with physics. And so um, this last question says, what's the average acceleration? All right, it is defined as the change of velocity divided by the time taken to make the change as shown in this formula. Again, when you first read it, it is confusing. So don't worry about it. Uh, read it, try to simplify it. And if you can't, reach out in Slack. So acceleration is simply the starting speed. Maybe you're driving a um, Corvette and you start from zero. So this would be zero and you arrive at 60 miles an hour. So 60 minus zero and then divided by how long it took you to do that. Maybe it was six seconds. And so that would give us your acceleration. And so in this uh, instance, we're going to simplify this to just the data that's given. And so what is our program to calculate it? Well, we're going to say print and then V1, which is 10.5. Notice that we're given V1 right here and V1 is the starting point. So it's 10.5 and then minus 5.6. Now, notice that inside of the print command, we have the parentheses. And so this is the only uh, element that could be confusing here uh, as far as the programming itself goes. And that is, we are going to need another set of parentheses around this subtraction because next, when we try to divide by t, in this instance, it's a 0 0.5, right? We have to first subtract so that the entire amount can be divided, otherwise the answer would be incorrect. So that is the, 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 the trick uh, of the programming part of it, to go ahead and first write the subtraction and then divide by five. And so this is the answer to our uh, next question, and 9.8 happens to be the 
acceleration of falling objects uh, due to gravity. So likely this is something uh, gravitational force pulling something towards uh, the Earth. All right, so hopefully this gives you uh, some idea about uh, a week two labs, and uh, we'll see you soon in Slack. Bye.